Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on the notification. The one thing school ought to teach you about life. About 12 years ago, I was reading a book titled The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. Just like any other book you read, it's only one or two points in the entire book that will stay with you for long. What actually stayed with me in this book is a statement that goes like, we humans are scientists and the laboratory we are working on is other humans. The author went on to explain how almost everything in our lives is determined by how much we are able to deal with other humans. I stopped reading the book and angrily asked myself, if human relationship is this important, why is no one teaching us how to do it? Why are the schools not teaching us how to relate, deal and get along with others? In this video, I'll share with you the one thing school ought to teach you about life. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Brian Tracy said, Your network determines your net worth. In my humble opinion, one of the most important things school ought to have taught us is how to relate, deal and cooperate with other human beings because as individuals, we are very limited. We can only grow and succeed by tapping into other people's resources. These resources can be as simple as an idea from a friend, a book from a friend, or even some financial aid or business partnership from other people. Without this little help, our growth will be limited but with this help, we can achieve anything with our lives. Let me tell you a few stories. Paul Allen and Bill Gates were good friends. One day, Paul came with a magazine and Gates decided to read it. From that magazine, Bill Gates discovered an idea that later led to what we know today as a Microsoft. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak were good friends. Wozniak was a great guy when it comes to creating products while Jobs was a great marketing guy. Together, they built a company we all know today as Apple Incorporated. After I've been in the business world for more than 6 years, I became friends with a man who would later become the most valuable instrument to my business growth. I was able to learn from him what later helped me to transform my business. Tell me anyone who succeeds all by himself. No one. And that's why more than anything, you must learn how to connect with other human beings. You must learn how to cooperate, build a team, form partnership and others. All my adult life has been about connecting with meaningful people, learning from them, partnering with some, get investment with others. This is what I can tell you makes me grow. Now tell me, who do you have in your life? What's the quality of your network? How much growth do you derive from people around you? Who do you partner with? Who do you brainstorm with? It's all about people, my dear. You may lack every other thing in life. If you have quality people in your life, you'll end up as a successful person because your relationships will provide every other things you lack. But why is it so important to learn how to connect with other meaningful people? 1. Great people push you to become better. We are not independent people as we love to think. Instead, we are total sum of the people we meet every day. For example, a friend once told me that he wanted to read 100 books in about 4 months. I did not sleep that night. Why? Because there's something in us that wants to be like people around us. If you like, you can call it a chameleon effect but the truth is, deep inside you, you are imitating everyone you hang around. The number one reason for failure for most people is that everyone around them is average. If you are connected with ambitious people, you'll be ambitious. If you make friends with average people, you'll become like them. 2. People who love you can make sacrifices for you Now, I've seen friends doing for me what my family members could not do. When people like you because you've connected with them, they can do anything to help you in your journey of life. Believe me, you can't travel this rough road all by yourself. 3. Someone is throwing away now what you need Life is complex. There are things others have but will never need. Yet, those are what you need to start that business or grow to the next level or even win that contract. This can be information, books or some physical items. 
For instance, I have a blog and I do some internet marketing. Being who I am, I hate anything technical. If any math is more than addition or subtraction, I hate it and my business relies on many technical stuff. How do I handle this? Simple. I have friends I can call 11 pm to ask questions or even ask them to do something for me. That makes my life a lot easier and I can progress 100 times faster than I had ever tried to go all by myself. Now, if I have convinced you that the number one skill you should have is the ability to connect with positive-minded people, how exactly are you supposed to do that? 1. Don't make friends or connection with people for selfish reasons. No one loves to be used, so when you try to connect with people, don't do it primarily because you want to get something from them. Instead, have genuine love for people. 2. Instead of getting, give. Instead of trying to use people, make sure you offer to help people as much as you can. This way, you'll earn their trust and love. Don't worry about this because you have a lot of things you can give. In fact, just as I told you that some people have things they don't need which may be what can change your life, so it is that you yourself have things you don't need which can be of great help for someone else. Be generous with such things. 3. Upgrade yourself You have to seek to be like people you want in your life. The reason for this is because none of us are comfortable around people who are opposite of us. Take for instance, if you like politics, how many minutes do you think you can spend talking with someone who hates politics? Maybe 3 minutes. But how many minutes do you think you can spend with someone who crazily loves politics? Maybe 3 hours. Now that's it. Positive people cannot enjoy your company if you are a negative person. So if you want the company of quality people, you must be willing to upgrade yourself to that level. You can do this by reading some good books that will change the way you think and see the world. 4. Nurture relationships It's not enough to meet people. You have to make the sacrifices to call, text and visit. If you don't nurture the important relationships in your life, you've got no relationship. 5. Do more than friendship There should be different kinds of relationships in your life. Your friends, your business partners or colleagues at work, people who are older than you and people who are younger than you. Because different age groups and different professions and temperaments have different approach and ideas about life, the more diverse your connection is, the faster you can grow. In conclusion, we as humans are scientists and the laboratory we all operate on is other humans. Your ability to connect with other meaningful people, deal with them, strike partnership deals with them, convince them to invest in your vision and others is probably the biggest thing that will determine whether you become successful in life. Your networks determine your net worth.